In a consumer society that's increasingly hooked on electronics, an old adage has new meaning. One person's trash is another's treasure. Inside those printed circuit boards and on those printed circuit boards um, are precious metals, and they're laden with precious metals. Um, unfortunately, 7% of the gold in the world is in these electronics, this discarded electronics. Right now, only 18% of the planet's e-waste is recycled. The rest, 54 million tons per year, is essentially burned, releasing toxic byproducts. But the Royal Mint in the UK says it's opening a new plant to extract gold and other precious metals to use in its coins. The Mint's partner is a Canadian startup, Exir of Calgary. Exir is not speaking to media, but the Mint is singing its praises for a patented chemical process. This chemistry is able to um, remove 99% of the gold that's sitting on these circuit boards to a 99.99% purity. Of course, all that glitters is not new. Canadian recyclers say they've been doing similar work since 2007. They use metal from our electronics to make uh, the metals for the 2010 Olympics. So, uh, yes, we've been doing it for a long time. Vancouver Olympic medals included small bits of recycled electronics. While the Royal Canadian Mint recycles by keeping coins in circulation, the UK Royal Mint says its plant will clean out up to 90 tons of UK circuit boards per week, extracting hundreds of kilograms almost immediately, including gold, silver and copper. They'll be melted down into new coins. Welcome renewal from a venerable institution. Ross Lord, Global News.